Russia's extensive railway network, one of the largest and most crucial globally, relies largely on diesel traction for thousands of kilometers of non-electrified roads that link industrial centers, mineral deposits, and ports. Nevertheless, a significant portion of this diesel fleet comprises decades-old locomotives, primarily consisting of aged Soviet-era models such as the M62, 2TE10, and 2TE116 series. These workhorses, formerly celebrated as masterpieces of Soviet engineering, are now progressively less efficient, costly to maintain, and environmentally obsolete. Sanctions and supply chain disruptions have made it increasingly difficult to acquire imported components and limited the availability of spare parts. In this context, the TE-26 diesel locomotive, developed by the Bryansk Machine Building Plant in partnership with TMH Engineering, signifies a much-anticipated renewal of Russia's main diesel traction. It is designed as a modern, universal locomotive intended to supplant outdated models with all components manufactured domestically. The TE-26 represents far more than merely a new machine. It signifies a strategic step toward achieving self-sufficiency in locomotive technology, in line with the nation's industrial modernization and import substitution objectives. The TE-26 project was executed under the auspices of the Bryansk Machine Building Plant, an establishment with a long-standing history in locomotive production. TMH Engineering, the Design and Innovation Division of Transmash Holding, supplied system-level engineering and integration expertise. From its inception, the TE-26 was engineered as a single-unit, dual-cab locomotive intended for both freight and passenger operations, integrating contemporary ergonomic features, enhanced efficiency, and superior reliability. The engineers placed a high priority on modularity and maintainability, guaranteeing the swift replacement of key components without the need for extensive disassembly. During the whole development process, advanced three-dimensional modeling and digital design tools were used. The locomotive's design is sleek and strong, which is in line with TMH's modern style. It has aerodynamic shapes and advanced lighting systems that set it apart from its Soviet-era predecessors. At the core of the TE-26 is the 18-9 DGM-02 diesel generator, a domestically manufactured, turbocharged engine delivering approximately 2,850 kilowatts or 3,880 horsepower Power is conveyed via an electric traction system, delivering a maximal tractive effort of approximately 323 kilonewtons, thereby allowing it to tow extensive and heavy freight trains on non-electrified roads. Measuring approximately 21.8 meters in length, the locomotive offers sufficient internal capacity for equipment, cooling systems, and maintenance access. Its electric transmission guarantees more seamless operation, diminished mechanical wear, and enhanced efficiency in comparison to antiquated mechanical drive locomotives. This configuration additionally facilitates multi-unit operation, enabling two or more TE-26 locomotives to be managed from a single cab, an essential capability for carrying exceptionally heavy trains in industrial areas and mountainous regions. The TE-26 project is distinguished by the inclusion of over 90% domestic components, representing a major accomplishment in Russia's strategic initiative to diminish reliance on imported machinery and technology. Nearly all key subsystems, ranging from the prime mover to control systems and bogies, have been procured domestically within Russia. This localization initiative fulfills both practical and strategic goals. It effectively ensures reliable availability of spare parts and reduces foreign currency outlays. Strategically, it improves industrial sovereignty during a period of disruption in international supply chains. The TE-26 thus represents not only advances in technology, but also economic robustness and industrial autonomy. The initial production of the TE-26 commenced at the Bryansk Machine Building Plant in late 2024, with final assembly finishing in the first half of 2025. Shortly thereafter, a second unit was dispatched from the assembly line. 
The decision to develop two prototypes concurrently was deliberate. This approach enabled engineers to compare outcomes under real-world testing conditions, detect design deficiencies at an early stage, and expedite the refinement process for mass production. The locomotives were subjected to factory testing at Bryansk before their transfer for official certification trials. BMZ officials characterized this as the most critical event for the plant in recent years, highlighting that the TE-26 would serve as the foundation for a new generation of Russian mainline diesel engines. Following factory assembly, the prototypes were sent to the Sherbinka Testing Facility, Russia's principal national railway testing center. There, the TE-26 underwent a comprehensive evaluation program encompassing dynamic endurance and traction assessments. Engineers evaluated fuel efficiency, emissions, braking performance, and the locomotive's interaction with standard Russian rolling stock and infrastructure. The certification procedure also assesses the locomotive's reliability under extreme temperatures, its tolerance to vibration, and the stability of its control software. Once certification is achieved, the TE-26 will be authorized for operation on mainline routes managed by Russian railways and may also be available for export to countries with the same track gauge and comparable operating standards. The TE-26 was developed with versatility as a fundamental design principle. It is capable of performing various roles, freight, combined, or passenger, depending on the configuration and service needs. Its tractive power enables it to operate heavy freight trains, while its refined control systems and dual cabs render it appropriate for passenger routes that necessitate frequent reversals. The locomotive's modular systems can be readily modified or enhanced to accommodate various climate zones or operational requirements. In areas such as Siberia and the Far East, where electrification is limited, the TE-26 is anticipated to function as the primary propulsion for industrial logistics, mining activities, and long-distance freight transportation. A major improvement over previous locomotive models is evident in the design of the crew compartment. The TE-26 incorporates a completely modern workspace designed to emphasize safety and comfort. The dual cab configuration provides complete visibility in both directions, thereby minimizing the necessity to turn the locomotive at terminal. Inside, the cabin features climate control, sound and vibration insulation, and ergonomically designed controls. Digital dashboards supersede the cluttered analog displays of previous eras, while enhanced seat positioning and visibility improve operator awareness. Such enhancements lessen fatigue during extended periods, thereby enhancing operational safety and efficiency. The TE-26 has been designed to ensure a service life surpassing 40 years, embodying the long-term operational philosophy of Russian railways. Reliability is guaranteed through the utilization of proven components and a streamlined design that reduces maintenance downtime. Each primary subsystem, engine, traction converter, and braking module can be accessed via modular panels, enabling technicians to perform replacements or maintenance efficiently. The locomotive's use of readily accessible Russian components guarantees that regional facilities nationwide can service it without dependence on specialized imported equipment or training. The launch of the TE-26 aligns with a wider initiative by Russian Railways and Transmash Holding to upgrade the nation's non-electrified rail fleet. Many of the locomotives presently in operation originate from the 1970s and 1980s, and their aging engines utilize disproportionate amounts of fuel while releasing elevated levels of pollutants. Replacing these outdated units with the TE-26 provides several advantages, increased fuel efficiency, lower maintenance expenses, and improved operational dependability. For freight operators specifically, the new locomotive offers increased availability and reduced idleness, resulting in improved economic performance. Over time, the TE-26 has the potential to serve as the foundation of Russia's modern diesel traction fleet, underpinning industrial supply chains across the energy, mining, 
and manufacturing sectors, particularly in areas where electrification is not economically viable. The unveiling of the TE-26 has been received with cautious optimism among Russian railway professionals. Railway experts have commended the substantial incorporation of domestic components and the focus on personnel comfort, two elements that have been significantly overdue in Russian locomotive design. Industry analysts, however, observe that the TE-26 must still demonstrate its operational reliability and cost-effectiveness in real-world conditions. Extended testing data, especially concerning fuel efficiency and maintenance schedules, will ascertain whether it attains the extensive acceptance envisioned by its developers. If it fulfills expectations, the TE-26 may represent the first completely modernized, mass-produced diesel locomotive of post-Soviet Russia. Beyond its function in conveyance, the TE-26 serves as a compelling emblem of industrial independence. Its development exemplifies that Russia's locomotive manufacturing industry maintains the technical expertise required to design and manufacture sophisticated machinery independently. The TE-26 project further revitalizes the Bryansk machine building plant, guaranteeing stable employment and safeguarding one of Russia's most long-standing centers of heavy engineering expertise. For Transmash Holding, this consolidates the group's position as the leading entity in Russia's railway equipment sector and enhances its prospects as an exporter to markets in search of cost-effective, durable diesel traction solutions. In final remarks, the TE-26 diesel locomotive represents both an important leap in technology and a strategic milestone for Russia. It originated from the urgent necessity to replace outdated, inefficient Soviet-era engines with a contemporary, dependable, and domestically manufactured system. With its durable 18-9 DGM-02 engine, electric transmission, high levels of domestic content, and sophisticated crew ergonomics, the TE-26 exemplifies a new generation of Russian diesel traction. If certification and testing proceed as scheduled, it is prepared to commence serial production and establish itself as the primary infrastructure for Russia's non-electrified mainlines. More than merely a locomotive, the TE-26 exemplifies the resilience and ingenuity of Russia's heavy engineering industry, serving as a concrete reminder that, even amidst challenging conditions, innovation on steel rails persists in advancing the nation. If you think the video was informative, please like, subscribe, and share. Please also take membership of the channel to encourage us